I have to give it some beans. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Justin here, coming to you from Baltimore, Maryland. Just received a package from Salt Lake City, Utah. It makes this stuff here in the USA. Uh, it's an obstacle course specifically designed for the Axial SCX24 and the Traxxas TRX4M RC crawlers. Plan is to unbox the item, assemble it, and then I'm uh, gonna make a short reel of the Gladiator here, drive it on the, uh, on the course. Stay tuned. All right, let's dive right in. So we have a lot of stuff here, kind of crazy like, but uh, actually it's not too crazy like. It looks like each one of these is the obstacle course. Oh man, it smells fresh. I think they make this with a, a laser or something. What do we got here? Looks like we got some pre-installed stuff. It's really neat how they lasered out the wood to uh, flex around the curves here. Two ramps the letter A, so hopefully that helps with assembly. And then a bunch of components here. Got some bubble wrap. Awesome. For this guy. So it looks like I have the base made here. This is the top. I guess the name is Crawlscapes. I, I thought it was Crawlerscapes. Kind of snaps together. Man, look at that. That is freaking sweet. Snap these together. It's pretty cool. The wood's just kind of moving into shape here. They did a really good job with their design and engineering here as far as everything being a, a nice interference fit, holding tightly. Well, I'm not really having any, any issues here. Check that out. Insert. I just realized that I thought these were gonna be the same or not. You can see we have, but I would say a pretty tame side and then a pretty, pretty steep side. These are not the most grippy things. I mean, they're just wood. There is some cuts put in here. So it'll be interested to see how well the tires grip. So far, it looks like they're gripping just fine. Looks like it goes like this. In infinitely different designed pieces can assemble here. So the attention to detail as far as having interference fits for every one of these pieces to the point that holds them in place is it's pretty cool. It looks like they gave me an extra. Check that guy out, huh? And they're all kind of modular. You can you can swap them out, move them here to here. Two easy ones here, coupled with two hard ones. Hard and a, maybe a medium ramp here. Six inches in height for reference. Top of the Jeep is five inches in height. Looks like eight inches in length. If you wanna have this on your table, you're gonna need at least 22 inches of space. A 22 by 22 inch square. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. So let's get to driving here. Crawling up. All right. Go ahead and crawl up. This one out. What's an easier one? Drop that one on the floor. Thing is tough. Try rotating it again. Man. Oh, here we go. Lifting a wheel. Oh, 
compressing the shocks a little. stuck it's just that the wheelbase is at that perfect hump and it could again gets caught I think the wheelbase is just a little too long going up over what about max flex and yeah, these are some cool obstacles Ooh, it's pushing me a little crooked there. But I gotta put a little driver in right now. Looks like it's lifting the passenger side wheel. A little more driver side steering angle and I just ran into this thing <laughs> we'll back back over so pretty cool little crawlscape here I like the name I like the quality um, I like how challenging they made this my crawler here with some upgrades can't make it up so I'm gonna look at getting maybe some stickier tires. I wonder if I switch back from these to the stock links from the high clearance link will allow some more, more flex, less binding from the cheap Amazon, cheap Chinese made Amazon links, if that'll help me, help me get up these. But I do like how it's kind of infinitely variable. I moved a couple of these ramps around to different locations to see what, what we're gonna do to try to make it easier for, uh, <laughs> for the Jeep to get up. Also really like these, these little baby ramps here. Uh, really cool for driving up over, seeing some suspension flex, at least for the SCX24. It's wide enough. It looks pretty, pretty wide. I, I don't have a TRX4M, but I know they're not much bigger than this. I bet it would, it would also fit within the tracks here. Uh, I'd probably make it up this as well a lot better than, than this guy just due to the fact that it weighs more. Uh, overall, great product. American made, which I love. Uh, you can't beat an American made product. It smells great. When you unbox it, you are going to get a awesome whiff of firewood, of a nice fire going. So look forward to that. And if you're interested, I'll post a link down below where you can uh, pick one of these up, support a Crawlscapes, an American business. If you're interested in this type of content, please feel free to drop a like, a review, or subscribe. I plan on making more content, hopefully weekly videos, if we can keep up with that. They won't always be about crawlers, but I plan uh, to make that one of my, my topic ideas for videos. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day.